us tonight. You're welcome. Well, I have to say congratulations on this brand new EP. I've taken a listen to it over the last couple of days, and it is an absolutely fantastic album. So I was wondering if you could start off by telling us a little bit about where the inspiration came from for this album. Well, it was... um, um, When we finished our last album, Verkligheten, um, we we, um, had a great, like creative atmosphere in the band and, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm always but you know um, I like creating stuff and, and, and um, so I just came up with the idea that perhaps we should release a couple of singles and, and I wrote Feverish and, and uh, Desperado and, and uh, Death Diviner and then the whole pandemic came and and I've always not always but I, I, I've had this idea for a long time that it would be really fun to to um, create uh, an epic track with sort of work just you know something that no one would expect us to do and and so here we are and it's all like developed very year it does feel organically yeah it does feel that you really pushed yourselves with this album and and pushed limits that you guys hadn't reached before tell us a little bit about what that was like pushing those limits but also what made you decide that you wanted to do something that you guys had never done before um well uh, i've always felt that you know sword work as a band it's a bit underestimated and and, and um i just want to create something that was a bit um unexpected and and it just it it came together very easily um and the whole process of 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 recording it was really fun so so with it's um i'm really happy that we finally did something strange and new and uh hopefully we'll continue to um um evolve and explore what we're capable of yeah you mentioned it came together quite easily but what was those recording sessions like did you guys feel challenged at all when you're actually in the studio putting it down because it sounds like a masterpiece it sounds like it would have been really difficult to record um well first of all thank you um no, it was really easy and fun. <laughs> and, um, that's also like part of why I, I am. I mean, I wrote all the music and the, lyri- the lyrics for um, the whole EP, and, and uh, I. I I sort of like want to to show the world what we're capable of, um, and, and um, so it wasn't difficult at all. It was just fun and and um, interesting, and uh, you know you have Sven Carlson on the keyboards, you know, shredding away on the piano, and and and. Uh, uh, it was just us having a good time in the studio. Lyrically, what kind of things were inspiring you when you sat down to write these tracks? Of course, water is a theme there, but what else was inspiring you when you sat down lyrically to work on the album? Um, I guess um, the whole thing about 
you know, the world is changing in so many ways, and, and the alienation that everyone feels like having to cope with the whole new set of premises and, and um, how to um, overcome that was probably and also I mean um, I'm having Bjorn Street <laughs> in the background recording vocals we're in the studio right now um, <laughs> recording our new Night Flight Orchestra album and, and um, you know just trying to uh, we probably won't be able to tour or play festivals for a long time and, and um, so 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 just try to you know create stuff and release stuff and and um, um keep our fans happy i guess yeah um it has been such a weird year we we're in lockdown here in melbourne for seven months and now we're 50 days covid free in our state what's it been like for you there during the pandemic and what was it like putting the finishing touches to this ep during a pandemic um i'm i'm, I'm, a, I'm a doctor as well my day job is um, being a doctor. Um, now I've, I've been treating COVID patients um, as well, and I had it myself in March. I was out for like a month, <laughs> so. Um, um, I guess m modesty and uh, you no know, insecurity, and we no one knows how this will end. So um, but at the same time, I think it will be sort of like a reset button for how we live. Yeah, um, getting really deep for a moment because I also had COVID back in February. Has it changed your perspective on things like having it and coming out the other side, especially being a doctor and seeing how bad it can be? Has it changed your perspective on things? Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, it's... It, it, it made me realize that um, you really need to um, <laughs> um, I don't I don't want to get too personal but yeah it, it's made me realize that Um, the things I love, I I need to cherish. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we all need to cherish what we love, and and um, perhaps we've been too uh, reckless before, and you know. I, I, I've found found out depths in myself that I didn't know existed, and, and um, uh, you know, just. Um, 
has changed the way I view life. And, yeah. and, uh, and, you know, just wanted to take care of and really <laughs> and I have Bjorn singing away in the background. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. So yes, it, it it has changed me, and and um, I'm happy that I'm. I have my I've started my priorities. Yeah. Uh, you're you're in the studio right now with Night Flight Orchestra, but where to now for soil work? Like you mentioned before, that touring doesn't look to be an option for a while. Will you guys start working on new material straight away, or will you focus on Night Flight Orchestra for a while? Um, we'll do both. Um, we're in the studio now with the Night Flight Orchestra. We're entering the studio. Uh, in January with soil work, so it's going to be, I mean, um, we love creating music and um, we'll keep creating music and, and releasing it. And, and you can't really expect, I mean, I think touring is going to be problematic for the I mean for the overseeable future I mean I don't see us go back on tour in, in uh, 2021 so we'll just keep releasing stuff and, and uh, creating stuff and uh, hopefully people will enjoy it definitely well David to finish off, is there anything you would like to say to your Australian fans out there before they sit down to take a listen to this EP? Um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, I've, I've had some of my greatest experiences as a um, touring musician in Australia, and um, I honestly hope that you'll enjoy the effort we put into making this. Yeah. So, um, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> well, David, thank you so much for chatting to us. Tell Bjorn I say hi. Him and I have a very special bond because 20 years ago, he was my first ever interview that I did when I was a cadet music journalist. So, oh, tell, tell yes, him hi. <laughs> And again, congratulations well, well, on such a fantastic yeah. album. Thank you. Uh, Bjorn. No. <laughs> his, his, um, his striking vocals is <laughs> his, his in his own bubble. But yes, I will tell him. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much, you. mate. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. And we'll see you in Australia, hopefully, in the future. Yeah. Awesome, mate. I'll let you go. Have a great day and stay safe. <laughs>